talking about Minecraft. Talking about Minecraft. Talking about Minecraft. Talking about Minecraft. Hello guys and welcome to Minecraft. I am Jonathan Wolf 3 and yes, Minecraft is back. Oh my gosh. Um, it is still going to be sporadically uploaded though for the simple fact that these episodes are hard to record. However, I'm going to try to make this a nice long one. So anyway, um, you may be wondering, where are you, John? Why are you in this strange place? Well, um, I made a video explaining this whole area and showing it off and having a little bit of an adventure here too but uh, as usually happens the video went terribly wrong but I do have some of that footage so basically I explained that I spawned here in this place as you can see looks like a meteor landed here which is kinda crazy um, I walked over that way and I found a village and that was really cool and I walked over that way and found some cool caves, one of which I went down in, and lo and behold, there was a spider dungeon, which I took care of, and there's some minerals and stuff around here that I kind of left, and then there was some out here that I actually got. Um, anyway, and I made uh, one of the little houses over in the village my home, which turned out to be much too small because the bed didn't work properly, and I got attacked repeatedly every time I tried to sleep. But other than that, this place is basically untouched. There are some uh, cool caves around here, uh, other caves that I haven't got to yet, one that looked really promising. And let's see, there's a swamp over there, and two different kinds of forests. It's, it's really cool. Uh, as you can see, I am using a texture pack. This is uh, Jollycraft, it's called. It's really cool. I'll link it in the description. Uh, if everybody hates it, I'll quit using it for the videos, but I really like it myself. Um, you see the pigs are all muddy, but yeah, anyway, uh, it's about to be night time, so I guess I better actually get back and uh, to the house and stuff. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is grab my bed and put it in one of the bigger houses so that I can sleep the night away, because the little house is just not working. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is this is pretty cool though. Uh, I'm getting decent frame rate, not great frame rate. I'm using Bandicam again instead of Fraps. It will basically get the same frame rate, but with Fraps, you know, it's like <laughs> one gigabyte for a couple of minutes of footage, whereas with Bandicam, it's uh, it's like a hundred megabytes instead. So that's nice. Um, what else was I gonna say? I was going to say something else, and now I've completely forgot. Oh, well. Anyway, this is the little tiny shack here that I uh, was staying in. And as you can see, this was not working. So I'm going to grab that and let myself into one of these bigger houses so we can get rid of the night time. But I will make a house over at my spawn point. That is my usual plan. Oh, hello. We have uh, some roommates in this house. These guys still do nothing. I'm playing on... That's what I was going to say. I'm playing on the newest pre-release of Minecraft. It's 1.0, but it's also... Uh, what is it called? 11W47A. <laughs> And so, yeah. All right, let's stick that there, and we should be able to sleep. Aha! It worked. All right, you guys guard my bed. Um, so let me go back to the little shack and see what my supplies are like before we head out today. Should probably collect more wood and all that stuff, but I know that is boring to you guys. So let's see, what do we have here? Um, loot from the spawner, like buckets. I mean the dungeon. Saddle. Let's see. I don't have a lot, to be honest with you. Oh, here's some iron. That's that's good. Well, I have stone, stone, iron. So I did kind of prepare for this. I don't have a bow yet. Actually, I have enough string for that, sweet. Um, sticks, I have those. Let's make a bow. Even though I've only got, what, three arrows? <laughs> Alright. And bow. 
Nice. Keep that here. Um, let's see. No. Let's put this up. This up. On flesh up. Keep those. Put these up. Um, let's see. Anything else that I want to take? Anything else? Better take a bucket. You never know when you'll need a bucket, right? Alright. That's good for now. Um, do I have any iron armor? Yes, I do. Oh, and look, my skin is actually working. A lot of issues with that lately. Um, anyway. So. First things first. I want to go have a look in another one of those caves that I found over here. The one that was really dark but had some lava in it. I want to see if that's really deep or something. I mean, the lava being that close to the surface doesn't really mean anything, I suppose. But uh, I'm not going to kill any of the animals yet if I can help it. Uh, animals are now chunk dependent. If you kill them, they're gone. You have to go to a new chunk to find more. Oh. Hello. Anyway, um, hopefully you can hear all right. Uh, I've had some issues with the sound not being picked up as well. But anyway, um, but yes, if you kill all the animals in a chunk, they're gone forever. So the best thing to do is to only kill what you need and then work on getting a farm set up so that you can uh, breed the animals, which I will do at some point. Um... But for now, I can live off of bread, and if I have to, zombie meat, even though it's disgusting. But, you know, <laughs> you do what you have to do, right? Okay, so... Oh yeah, and those of you who may be watching me for the first time, this is not my first go-around with Minecraft at all. Uh, I think I've got 95 Minecraft videos up. There's a playlist. Go check it out. There's some iron there. Um... And you'll find a bunch of adventures that I had across various worlds. So definitely do that. Okay. This is it. Look at that. That looks really cool. Um, but yeah, this is probably really, really dangerous. I'm going to actually make my way over here. Whoops. Make sure this is lit up over here first. So I don't uh, get any surprises, actually. I should light this up, too. There. Now, let me check over here. Oh, that goes outside. Okay. Okay. Let's stick some torches here. All right. Coal. Get that later. Some iron there. Be very careful of this lava. Yeah, I was right. This does go deeper, so that is neat. Ooh, some water there. Wait, is this... Ooh, yeah, it goes up in here, too. I always like to clear out these upper areas so nothing comes down. Wait! Oh my gosh. Cobblestone, cobblestone, uh... Whoa! Another sp... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you, maybe I showed you the clip of the one over there. Oh my gosh, there's that close. Two spider dungeons. Man, am I glad I got that before it started spawning. Oh. Something I have noticed, the spawners do give you a little bit more time now. Like if you come up on them and you're fast, they won't spawn uh, right away. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or if it's a glitch, but... Oh, man, I saw cobblestone and I just freaked. <laughs> I was afraid there for a second. Okay, cocoa beans, that's good. We can make some cookies. And what do we get over here? Iron. Lots of gunpowder. More cocoa beans. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and grab these. Might as well. I'll come back for the mossy stone at another point. I was going to say there's no real use for spider traps, but uh, XP, uh, experience points, are so important now. 
that uh, you never know. I might find a use for that. I've watched um, several people make experience farms by uh, using spawners, and uh, it's pretty cool. Whoa, that does go deep. Let's have a look down here. How deep does this go? Actually, what if it goes really deep and this water kills me? All right, let's um, let's barricade this like so. Is that still going? There we go. Whatever. All right. Let's see. Give me a bit of lag too. I hate lag so much. Whoa. I see lava. How deep does this go? Whoa! Check that out! Dude, that is awesome! Oh wow, a lava filled ravine. Wow. That obsidian there. Lots of iron and coal visible. That is deep. Seriously deep. Wow. See gold over there? Oh man. I was totally right about this place. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, I know what you're thinking. Give me the seed, man. Um, first of all, no. <laughs> because, you know, seeing something like this, it just makes me... Oh, I lost that much. It just makes me not want to have anything spoiled, you know? Like, oh, dude, dude you need to go dig straight down here and you get 20 diamonds or whatever. You know, I, I, can't, I can't deal with stuff like that. I want to find it myself. But, um, yeah, maybe later on I will share the uh, seed. But for now... Yeah, I'm keeping this place to myself, man. This is awesome. Sweet. Let's make sure this is well lit. You know, hmm, I'm having an idea. Of course, now I'm out of, darn it, I'm out of torches, but I'm having an idea. With that down there, ready to be explored, with a dungeon here that I might turn into an XP grinder, all these resources. I wonder. It's not something that I usually do in my Let's Plays, but I wonder if I should make some sort of a underground home, huh? What if I made this my base instead of living over in that village or making a spawn point house? What if I lived here? Like set up a base right here and then, yeah, that would be really cool. You know what, I'm going to get that, because I don't trust it. <laughs> I should probably leave it in this vicinity, though, for the simple fact that there won't be any light here, since I have no torches right now. So I'm going to put it there. The rest of that will go away. All right, you know what? Let's go clean out my uh, storage over at that other house. And let's start making this into a home, shall we? I think that's going to be awesome. Because, you know, my offline or whatever, non-video save files, I've made a lot of underground homes. But I never really do it when I'm doing uh, LP videos because, you know, it just seems like you should build a fancy house. Oh. It's the lag. Sometimes I can't get my sprint jumps to work when I'm lagging. Anyway, also I'm dying of hunger. That's really brilliant. Look at that sunset. Anyway, it just seems like you should build a fancy house, you know, but seriously, why not make that a underground home over there? Right on top of a ravine. Seriously, lag? Oh, hey. Alright. We be we need to really hurry, though. <laughs> it is getting dark.
It's a new moon, I believe that is. I do prefer round suns and moons. And everybody was like, oh, put it back to square, not much, but whenever I have a texture pack, I always have a round sun and moon, so when he made them that way, I thought that was pretty cool myself. Alright, what house did I end up going in? It was this one over here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, about villagers. If you find one day that your villagers have all wandered off, it's because you probably left all the doors open. If the doors are open, they will leave. And they won't come back. They just wander away. It's crazy. Um, DocM77 put up a video about how to get them back. Uh, I'll link that if I can remember. But basically, it involved using MC Edit to delete. Whoops, I wanted to keep the bed. Didn't I? Using MC Edit to delete the chunk with the village then reloading the map and it reformed the village and the villagers would be uh, back basically so that was pretty cool but yeah most of them are indoors uh, if a house spawns without a door they'll wander off like there's probably one here and whoops wrong way. Um, if you leave the doors open so All right, let's grab all our stuff. Should make more torches too. Oh, I can't take all this. Well, I don't need a wooden pickaxe, wooden sword. Um, take that. But I should sacrifice something else. And it's not a bad idea to leave stuff here, actually. So, well, no, I don't have to sacrifice anything. Whoops. I've got enough room for torches too. So, did I get any more coal? I didn't. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Can't make any more torches anyway. Um, am I carrying wheat? Yes, yeah, so I can grab some of this. When it's fully bright yellow and flowery looking, it's ready to pick in this texture pack. I really like this texture pack, but if you guys honestly hate it, I suppose I could quit using it. Not a lot of people are sticklers for the original, but sometimes you whoops. Sometimes you need something different, you know? Change the scenery. Okay, where are the seeds? Here we go. And I'm holding shift so that I can walk across these. I, that was one thing I actually really liked about pre-release 5, which was the pre-release I played the most. Um, you could have fence posts under farmland, and you could never trample them that way. And that was pretty cool, I thought. These just get trampled all the time by animals, villagers, monsters. It's just frustrating. But anyway, that's that's enough. I'm not worried about that. I mean, I'll come back to that if I need it, but I'll probably start my own farm underground anyway. Probably grab some of these, though. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, look, there's one of the wandering villagers. He stayed in this area, at least. Alright, let's go back and set up a sort of makeshift base in one part of that cave. I'm gonna have to close off the openings to the outside so that I can use my bed properly. Uh, there's some iron there, but... Priorities. Set up a base. 
so that we're safe before nightfall. Then I'm going to make an axe and go collect a ton of wood. Sorry about that, editing out a cough. Anyway, um, I'm going to then, um, what was I saying? Oh, collect a bunch of wood and start making that cave a home. I'm forgetting this brand, aren't I? There we go. This doesn't work all the time with the lag, and sometimes I just forget to even try. Lots of animals around. I'm trying to... Well, if I'm doing an underground base, maybe I can have an underground animal farm, too. Whoa. Hello, red squid. You're cool looking. Lily pads are pretty neat, too. You can walk on them now, and... um. That's actually pretty useful for farms, like if you have the water running between uh, rows of wheat or whatever, you can put the lily pads there and then you can walk across the water, basically. That's pretty neat. Um, so let's try to close this up, since this looks like a pretty definite opening to the outside. Do, do... Uh, do do. Is it closed off? Not entirely. Now it is. All right, sweet. So that's that's closed off. And I think I'll make this my entrance because that's where I came in originally, and it's right below water. And some trees and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of kind of a cool spot, even though it's swampy and the waters are different colors, which is kind of dumb, but um, I don't have any more dirt, so I need to collect some dirt real quick so I can terraform that a bit over there, make it the way I want. always like to have some dirt on me anyway. That didn't sound right. I <laughs> always like to keep some dirt blocks with me so that I can, uh, you know, build myself out of bad situations if need be. Alright, um, can probably make some sort of doorway right here. And this is going to be my... Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Alright. Probably washed away any torches I had there. Um, okay, so there's water right there. I should probably sh fill some of that in. Um, let's put some torches here. Probably should try to mark this spot a bit, shouldn't I? So I can see it from a distance. There we go. It's probably gonna hurt. Mm, yeah. I hate the new fall damage sound. I mean, it makes sense when I guess it makes sense for fall damage. I should say I hate it that it applies to um, all damage taken, no matter what. It's a crunch sound. I mean, falling, okay, yeah, I guess that could be a crunch, but I don't know. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, let's get some of this out of the way. I'll pretty all this up more later, but... Yeah, I, I guess that's good enough. So I need to make a door, but I'll just put that there for now. Have you still not gone away? Would you become an infinite pool or something? No, they got rid of those. That was something else I really liked about... Sorry about that. Anyway, that's something else I really liked about pre-release 5 was the... Um... um what you call it? Infinite lava pools that you can make. Oh, broke my pick. Anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. Five, uh, I'm sorry, four buckets of lava would make an infinite lava pool. I thought that was pretty neat. But they got rid of it, of course. 
Still, it looks like I've got an infinite supply of lava right uh, down in that ravine. Should I ever need it? Plenty of obsidian, too, for when I want to make a nether portal. Can't wait to find a nether fortress. I actually have never found one, even uh, my uh, off-screen playing. So Anyway, getting this coal, I would much rather get this with a enchanted pick with fortune on it. But who knows when I'll actually have enough stuff to make an enchanting table and all that. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn this all into sticks. And get some torches on the go. I'm just clicking so I don't use up too much of my inventory space. That's good for now. Need to get these placed. Um... Where should I make uh, the base itself? Let's get some more light in here first. Actually still looks pretty dangerous, doesn't it? Um, some light over here. Okay. Well, wait. Ah, there. Um... Let's see. Well, maybe here when you first come in would make the most sense. I don't know. Let's grab this lava back up again. It just seems too dangerous. Go away. There we go. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, let's... That um need a oh I just used up all my wood and I didn't bring my workbench. Lovely. Ah, John, you are the smartest guy. Not. It's getting late too. Oh, it's night time. All right. Now well, let's make use of the bed then. It's uh, here for now, I suppose. Hope I'm safe. Oh. Okay, that scared me to death. Corner of my eye. Look at that. Just at the corner of the screen there. See green? I was like, creeper. Oh, that was... Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to have to get a little bit of wood so I can make a workbench and a axe and then I'll go and get a whole bunch more wood but first let's make sure there's nothing around really surprised actually I'm not seeing any monsters hmm. weird guess I didn't let it get dark enough before I slept what am I doing? I'm supposed to be getting wood. <laughs> it. Uh. All right, chop down that tree that was right outside. Going to uh, make a workbench. Yay! Achievements that we get every single time there's an update. <laughs> um. Okay. Sticks. Gonna make a stone axe, I believe. Makes a bit more sense. And I can't pick up my dirt. Let's put all of this stuff in here. I don't know why I'm still carrying all of this around. It's ridiculous. Do 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 do. Okay. Yeah, I'll work on sprucing this up. Uh, probably do that off screen just because I like to think through exactly what I'm going to do. And now I will. Uh, those acorns are saplings, by the way. I thought that was kind of neat. Acorns and pine cones, I believe. Stuff like that. Anyway, um. 
You probably don't want to see me chop trees, so yeah. Be back in a bit. Okay, I got 24 logs. I think that's going to be good for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, replant some of these near about where the main tree was. I suppose this will all go away eventually. And here. Put one. Uh, yeah, let's put a couple up here. Why not? Here we go. Right. It's good. Kind of make a door too. That might help. <laughs> um. Let's go ahead and do that. Voila. And, uh, yeah. Let's just make sure I put some more light around here. So everything's safe. Eventually I'll work on lighting up this whole area here. So that there's no monsters around. But for now we'll just throw some of these torches around. Places like this. Um, that is the other spider dungeon down there. Still coal and iron. Lag making me walk where I don't want to walk, but I might as well get this. There's plenty of coal and iron around here that I have to get yet, though. So, that's for sure, but I figured I would do that later. Okay, so this may not have been the most exciting series of events here, but the... Uh, Discovery, I think, is exciting all on its own. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if this will uh, connect to anything else, because a lot of times I've found uh, ravines that connected directly to abandoned mine shafts and other ravines and just huge cave systems or dungeons right on the sides so who knows but man what an epic epic spot that is it's just awesome um, yeah might as well uh, put down a few more torches just to make sure everything is kosher I don't want to take any chances. Can I get them up in there? Yeah. That's crazy. That another spider spawner that close to the other one. That's that's crazy. I would have much preferred a skeleton spawner, to be honest with you. Um, you know, then I could have made a trap for arrows. But um, anyway. Those of you who have been watching me for a while probably remember, it actually hadn't been that long, my Hollow Mountain series that I had to abandon due to a couple of reasons. Inability to record was one, and then because I was going to be using it with uh, a mod, and then the pre-releases messed that up and it removed all the mod stuff from the uh, save file. So that got messed up and I decided to just abandon that for the time being, even though I, I can still recreate the world if I want to. Um, I got that MC Nostalgia thing, which can revert you back to an older version of Minecraft. And um, with that, I can re recreate old worlds if I want to. Um, anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, in the Hollow Mountain series I created a skeleton dungeon trap that was really cool and was netting me tons of arrows and bones. But uh, yeah, until we find another one, 
It's like I'm stuck trying to get arrows the hard way. Making them is just way too hard now because sacrificing chickens that you can't get back, man, just to get the feathers. I mean, used to get feathers from zombies, which was stupid, but really helpful. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut this off here. I don't know how long it was. I wanted to make this a long episode. Not sure how long it's been, but. I uh, I want to spruce this up, and it's hard to commentate while I'm designing an area like this. And I'm also going to get some other things taken care of, collect some resources, prepare myself better with full armor before we start going down that way. Of course, I don't know, full armor to go down into a place that's mostly lava, that would be wasteful, wouldn't it? Maybe leather armor, but again, cows are a rare commodity. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I do. I think I'm going to cut this off here. See how the recording even came out. Hopefully it came out okay. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm Wolf 38 This is Minecraft. I don't even know what I'm going to call this series, actually. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to give that some thought. Um, well, let, let's think about this for a second. Should I name it after this epic ravine I found? Hmm. Or... Should I come up with something else? Or should I just call this... Considering that this is actually a full version of the game that you can win, technically, by getting to the Ender Dragon fight, which I hope to do at some point, but you have to go to the nether before you can get blaze rods to make blaze cream to make, or magma cream or whatever it is, to make eyes of ender so that you can um, find strongholds and repair the end portal so you can go to the end and fight the ender dragon. So I mean that's a lot. But that would be pretty cool if I could do that in this series, if everything continues to work properly. Um, but yeah, I think I've rambled on enough. Uh, as I said, I'm John the Wolf 38 And um, yeah, I guess I'll just say this is Let's Play Minecraft Part 1. Actually, should be Part 2, but oh well, I showed you the clips of the other one, I guess. So yeah, Part 1, and... Um, we're in a really epic place, and we're going to explore it and get as much as we can out of it before we start worrying about uh, the end of the game, which is a long ways off. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Not sure exactly when. Um, my guess is, because I think I'm really close to finishing Quantum of Solace, so my guess is I might, if this continues to work, start putting Minecraft up on Monday. I mean, you know, Minecraft Mondays. That would be kind of cool. Um... So yeah, I might do that. We'll see. Anyway, um, whenever the next episode is, keep an eye out for it. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Nom, nom, nom. Bye.